We are stopping at Publix in Fort Myers, Florida. We are going to be in Sanibel for three days. Florida, I believe, is in phase two of opening back up. Um, we had a trip planned months and months ago, and it couldn't be canceled. And so since Florida opened back up, we decided to take this trip. So at this grocery store, this lady right here is washing down the carts. Um, so, on this trip, we're going to try to social distance as much as possible. Usually, when we're out of town, we like to eat out. This trip, our hotel room has a refrigerator and a microwave, um, basically a little kitchenette. And so, we are going to eat in our hotel room as much as possible. I have a shopping list made. We're going to do easy stuff like sandwiches, um, stuff in the microwave, nothing too complicated. And so... Uh, I have been to Publix before because I've been to Florida a lot, but this one I definitely wasn't familiar with, so I don't record that much in the store. I do love looking looking at um, baked goods, and they had a nice pie selection. They had key lime pie. Uh, it was very tempting, but we got other stuff instead. So everyone was wearing masks. It wasn't too crowded, and... Um, yeah, I really liked this store. Uh, it just, lot, it's just a typical grocery store. Publix is just, I'm, I'm sure it's just like whatever chain you have in your town. Um, but I don't know. It just seemed clean, organized. I liked it. Um, they have a nice baked goods. And they had a lot of social distancing markers. And it wasn't very crowded. I think it was like, it was like one in the afternoon. So I was surprised it wasn't crowded. But this Publix, like there is like 10 Publix in Fort Myers. This is the one right before you cross the bridge into Sanibel. Um, it's kind of like not, it's not right off the main road. And so I feel like it's more of a grocery store that only the locals use. Because uh, there's other Publix, Publix that were easier to get to so I feel like it was just locals which I like um, and plus you know not that many people are traveling you're only supposed to be traveling if it's business if it's family emergencies or if it's uh, reasons for health and this was partial business and that's why we traveled from Publix in Fort Myers this is just we're gonna be here for three full days so Coke for Robert, Dr. Pepper for me. We also got a case of water. I'm going to be drinking more water than anything, but a little Dr. Pepper every day for me. And then we got apple turnovers for Robert for breakfast. And then cherry turnovers for me. We're going, we have hot dogs. So we have hot dog buns. And I like onion on my hot dog, so we got an onion. And then we got slider buns for sandwich meat. And we got roast beef and turkey breast, hard salami, and pulled pork. And you're probably thinking that's not nearly enough bread for all that meat. We don't always eat bread. Um, sometimes we'll just roll up the slices of meat, and so um, we didn't. We only got a little bread. And then Kraft Singles American spicy hot V8. We both love this. I got some um, cauliflower to snack on. Uh, we got sour cream. I'm going to make a, a ranch dip, Fiesta ranch dip. I brought the packet from home. That was easy enough to pack, so we'll make our own dip. And then mayo for the sandwiches. I like to have mayo on my sandwiches. And then ketchup for the hot dogs. And I honestly, I should have just got like, you know, McDonald's ketchup packets, but this was only a dollar, so that's fine. And then I like cantaloupe. Robert likes watermelon. I already showed the cheese. And then we got chips to go with the dip. So it'll be chips and cauliflower for the dip. So really, not that much food. Um, I actually had a longer list, but you know, if you when you go grocery shopping and you're not that hungry, you just don't buy that much. And I didn't want to have too much waste. If we do run out of food, our hotel does have a cafe that we printed out the menu and it does have several items that we like so we could always order and have it brought to the room 
And so, but first we wanna eat this. And then if we run out, if we eat more than we expect, we will just order from the hotel or restaurant. So yeah, Publix, um, I don't know if you could see on the short clip I did, Publix was not very busy. Um, they had one-way arrows, so you only, like certain aisles, you go one way, so basically you just loop around the entire store. I thought that was interesting. I had not been to a store yet that done that had, has done that. I've heard about it. I haven't seen it yet. So they definitely had arrows on the ground. I'm assuming everyone was following the rules. It really, there really wasn't that many people at the grocery store. So, and it, um, they were all wearing masks. Robert, were they all wearing masks at Publix? Yeah, everyone was wearing masks at Publix. So everyone was wearing masks at the airport. No one was wearing masks at the beach. I don't really expect people to wear masks at the beach. So it's just, it's a tricky situation. Um, I feel like you should wear masks if you're within six feet of people. So when we walk the beach, we're gonna make sure we maintain social distances, distancing, because we're not wearing a mask on the beach. So anyway, I'm gonna get this in the nice fridge we have. This is a little kitchenette. I'm happy with this little kitchenette. And um, yeah, the room is nice. It's not the best room we've ever been in. Not as nice as the Island Inn, but it is better than Sunset Beach Inn. And it was pretty cheap. How much did we pay? I don't know. Two, yeah, I don't know how much we paid. It, what, I, I think like 250, which you have to understand. Last time we were here, we stayed at Sunset Beach and it was like 450. So 250, a lot of you are probably thinking, that's not cheap. It's cheap for Santa Bell. So um, 250 night and yeah. I'm gonna unpack and go to the beach, that beautiful beach. <laughs> Hi, Robert. <laughs> uh, quick addition, cost of all this food was $82.29, and we definitely normally spend way more much, way more than $82.29 eating out, even for just one dinner. So even though this isn't meant to be a budget trip, it's a budget trip. <laughs> 